Trippy Red and KSI are both very successful people in their respective fields. Trippy Red is one of the few artists who stay relevant from the clout era of 2017 and consistently maintain a following years later. And for KSI, what can you not say about the guy? He's one of the biggest YouTubers on the site, as well as being a very successful boxer, musician, and businessman in Prime Energy Drinks. Rewinding the clock back to 2020, both Trippy and KSI were at the peak of their popularity at the time. Trippy just came off his first number one album in A Love Letter to You 4, selling over 100,000 copies the first week. And for KSI, he was recently coming off his win against his boxing rival Logan Paul. After his boxing match, KSI started the rollout to his very first solo album, Dissimulation. And for the second single to the album, KSI recruited Trippy to be on the song. In January 2020, Wake Up Call was released, amassing millions of hits on all platforms. However, after this collaboration, everything went downhill between the two. This is the forgotten beef of Trippy Red and KSI. Despite the song coming out in early 2020, the beef between the two didn't start until after KSI's album dropped in late May of 2020. Within this five month span, there was next to no communication between both of them. However, about a week after KSI's album releases, Trippy Red posted a story on social media of him training with Jake Paul. And of course, Jake Paul and KSI have never been on good terms. In the story, Trippy starts taunting KSI with Jake Paul also being on screen, basically calling him out. Hey KSI. <laughs> You don't want that shit, bro. You already got the song. You don't want the hands. You don't want That's the a hands. Whole different story, my nigga. It's me and Real. Trippy. Now I'm sure Trippy was joking about fighting KSI because he's never been in the ring in his life, but this story ended up starting the drama. A few days later, however, KSI would react to the clip and he would not really think much of it. I mean, I don't really know what to make of it if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's a shame. The exchange between the two would die down for a few months until KSI lit the fire again when he went on a truth or drink video where they asked him who was the worst artist you ever worked with. Instead, KSI rephrased the question and said that the most difficult artist to work with in his career has been Trippy Red. Who is the worst artist you've ever worked with? <laughs> I, I won't say worst, but the most difficult. Okay. I say Trippy Red. Uh, Trippy Red is an amazing artist, but he is a out, difficult person yeah, this, this to work with. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. Now in the clip, KSI never called him trash despite his friends trying to make him say that. He even gave him props for his music. All he really said was he was hard to work with, which was not really that disrespectful if I'm being honest. Regardless, Trippy Red responded on Instagram the next day, dissing KSI by thanking him for paying for his studio, likely alluding to him paying him for a feature. He then talks about his exchange with him as only a business thing, saying he was never his friend. You know, sometimes you just gotta kill people with kindness. Thank you, KSI. You paid for my studio. I appreciate you. I'm sorry we never got to talk on the phone or be friends over there. And one last thing, some little words of empowerment. When you get into this shit, Realize it's just business. I'm not your friend. I don't know you. I'm going to pull up on whoever I want to. And that's going to always go. I went through it. You going to go through it. Can't be mad at people for not fucking with or fucking with who you don't fuck with. However, if you guys know KSI, he didn't back down. He then said that his song was the only time Trippy Red charted in the UK and said that he didn't like him working with Jake Paul. Oh, Trippy, man. I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to pay for your studio, man. You know, consider it as a gift, especially since all you had to do was just sing for the song. And uh, also, you know, be grateful that I was able to get you your only top 20 in the UK. So whenever you come back to the UK to perform, just remember that I'd right? be grateful for that. And also, when you talk about business, you fucked with my business when you did that video with Jay Paul. And that's why I don't fuck with you, fam. So. As someone who was online during this dispute, the overwhelming majority of people sided with KSI outside of hardcore Trippy Red fans. And even as a very big Trippy Red fan myself, I have to say he was kind of in the wrong for this. He initiated the drama, and KSI never really said anything hurtful to him that warranted the reaction that he had. After these Instagram stories, the beef died down and they ended up never really speaking again. However, our story doesn't end here. Over a year later, in January of 2022, the artist SX, a friend and frequent collaborator with KSI, released a song with Trippy Red titled All Night. When the song released, he went to IG Live to talk with KSI. In the live, KSI stated he and Trippy are now on good terms. So after their dispute, they ended up not having any bad blood between each other. JJ and, and Trippy having beef. You guys have never seen beef in your life, put it that <laughs> 
Yeah. Now, now, me and Trippy are cool. Me and Trippy are cool. <laughs> yeah, don't worry guys it's I. <laughs> you know? now sx and ksi claim that there was never really any beef but if you were there in june of 2020 it was definitely more than just a disagreement and that's pretty much the end of the drama between the two i felt like this was one of the most forgotten beefs on the internet but i also felt like it was one of the weirdest ones that these two guys would ever go back and forth with that being said let me know what you guys think in the comments below and of course as always god bless